if you guys don't know already, I've been away for a long time. And I'm making videos every Monday and Wednesday now. And the number of videos I make on Monday and Wednesday is not biased to only one. So, this is my third video today that I have uploaded. Yay! I mean, I'm progressing. I still haven't, you know, dealt with my blog and everything, but I'm, I'm going to fix those. Just, just one thing at a time. But, I got a message today from a sister in Christ asking me about fasting. She knows who she is. And she can't seem to get it right. And because of this, she feels like she will be cursed for not fasting right. Well, anyway, I don't know what, where she got that from. But I felt like, you know what? Why just answer her message? I think that this could benefit everybody. So, oh, one more thing. Speaking of messages, I'm going to get to those. i just been, I'm, I'm going to get to those. I promise. Um, either today or tomorrow, I'm going to be answering, answering them. I'm going to answer all those. <laughs> okay, here we go. Some tips for fasting. Number one thing. Fasting takes time. Okay, when you fast, you don't automatically start fasting for five days. That's very unhealthy for you. When you fast, you start half a day when you get used to that, then a whole day, and then you start a whole day and a half, and then two whole days, and two days and a half, and three whole days, or if you want to fast every day, then maybe you could fast like half a day, Monday half a day, Tuesday half a day, Thursday, Wednesday half a day, Thursday, etc. Like that. Now you can fast on your own, but also when the Holy Spirit tells you to fast, indeed, fast. And he'll also give you the length of how long he wants you to fast. Now, if you are a new beginner or a new believer and a new beginner of fasting, then go ahead and fast. If the Holy Spirit told you to fast five days and you're a new beginner, don't sweat it. If the Holy Spirit told you to do something, he'll give you the strength to carry it out. So then fast for five days. You'll be surprised. Now, some other tips would be if you fast, and fasting's not <laughs> drinking water or eating some people when they fast they want to eat fruit or something like that you know sometimes fruit can be even more filling for you than a donut okay when you fast I'm only just gonna eat fruit no no you might as well have just have that donut okay um when you fast it's no drinking no eating okay you just gotta do it from scratch just like esther did <laughs> okay um another tip is when you fast it's important to plan your day when you fast the whole purpose for fasting is not a sacrifice you don't sacrifice yourself to god that's what christians think they sacrifice you're not no you're not you don't god jesus was our ultimate sacrifice you don't need to sacrifice anymore don't practice transactional faith transactional faith is you give something you get something no you <laughs> practice implicit faith god gives and gives and gives did you know that god predestined you to be his did you know that god gives gave you the gift of repentance like the ability to repent did you know that god gives you faith did you know, did you know that god gives you the ability to bear fruit 
through the sanctification of the Holy Spirit. It's all about God. And do you know why he does it? It's not because he found anything special in you or me. It's because of his own good nature. His love is in such a way he can love the objects of his wrath. Okay? So, knowing that is all about the work that Jesus did on the cross to make it all possible. Miraculous. We fast. It's not transactional. You don't, you're not sacrificing anything. The whole point of fasting is to decrease your flesh so that the spirit within you can increase. And the spirit within you is not your own. It's the Holy Spirit. So that he can increase. Okay. So, when you fast, you're not going to eat food. And food gives you energy. And you need to plan it out. I mean, if you're... If you go jogging every day, you shouldn't go jogging while you're fasting because you just make yourself sick. If you have work Monday through Thursday, then you should probably fast on Friday. If you, you know, if your grandchildren are coming over and they want to run outside and just go racing with you or whatever, then that's probably not a good day for you to fast. It's likely that you're going to fail. Okay, so if your grandkids are coming over and they're tired and they want to sleep, then that's a good day for you to fast. Because the whole point of you fasting is not to eat anything and go about your day. That's just a really poor and stupid diet, honestly. The whole point of fasting is to decrease the food of your flesh and give your Holy Spirit, give your spirit a buffet. As you fast, you're supposed to spend time with God. Read the word, worship him, give your spirit a buffet so that your flesh will decrease and your spirit will increase. So as your flesh decreases, you can you are more liable actually to walk in the spirit than in the flesh. And that's just beautiful. Um so those are some helpful tips to fast. Now, this is when Kaisa wrote me. I'm not really sure how she's not following through with her fast because she said that she tried three times and it didn't work. But using these tips that I gave you, that God told me, as I use in my Christian walk, then you'll surely do so. And if you find yourself just not having any time to fast at all, then you're probably too busy than God intended you to be. God probably didn't intend you to be too busy if you find yourself not having time for him. Or even having the time to fast for him. So, remember, go by the living of the Holy Spirit. God bless you.